Hello and welcome, my name is Tim and it's time for the Cheap Gear Review, Things That Hold Other Things Extravaganza. Part one will be this week, part two will be next week. Let's get it on. First on the docket is the Heil Sound HB1 steel microphone boom. So I wanted a good solution to mount a condenser microphone uh, to my desk in order to facilitate um, easier voiceovers. I wanted to be able to uh, clean up some of the clutter on the floor, you know, create some better walking conditions, and uh, also retain quick access to a condenser or other recording microphone. And the Heil Sound HB1 seemed to fit the bill. It's one of those, you know, broadcast uh, style articulated arms that mounts to a desk. So in this case, I've got the Monoprice condenser microphone from a few reviews ago. Uh, with a brand new pop filter that I also picked up at the same time. We'll talk about that later. And I've got it attached to this articulated arm that comes down here and attaches to my editing desk. And I apologize for the mess and any crappy camera moves there. And as you can see, it swivels right there. And that's kind of free floating in there. It's just, uh, it's just kind of like a, a tube that goes into that socket. And so it's not actually clamped in to the desk so much as uh, the length of tubing at the end goes into the C-clamp that, that then clamps to the desk. And so it actually can, can swivel around as much as you need, which is really nice. Now, there are a couple downsides. Uh, number one, this bit at the end here is a little bit touchy. Uh, that clamp really likes to loosen up on you if you do a lot of really dramatic movements with it. If you're gentle, it will treat you well. Uh, and it's certainly not as touchy as that Nady pop filter, which again, we'll talk about that later, but it is just a tad bit touchy. And so you wanna be careful of that so you don't end up with a floppy microphone at the end of your boom arm. The other thing is that uh, the joints on the arm, specifically this one here, it's a bit stiff. So, um, you know, it makes treating this section gingerly just a tiny bit harder because you end up having to put more force into moving the microphone around. That said, it's a great solution and it's done quite a bit to clean up my uh, desk area here and to retain quick access to a vocal recording microphone when I need it. So uh, this thing goes for about 70 bucks. Uh, check the purchase link below and uh, I highly recommend it if you do a lot of voiceover work or otherwise if you need quick access to a vocal recording mic, um, you know, if you do podcasting or anything like that, this makes life easier in a way that you would not anticipate before purchase. So check that out. I highly recommend it, especially for the price. Secondly, I would like to talk about the O-Tray. So this is a tray that attaches to a standard microphone stand. And uh, it's, as you can see, a cup holder and just a platform to put stuff. Uh, I got this mainly because uh, the band and I have been practicing more, rehearsing more for live performances and such, and I find myself drinking quite a bit of water and or energy drink. And this is designed to attach to any standard 7 8 inch microphone stand shaft and very securely hold your favorite beverage and a capo, set list, ashtray, whatever you want to put on it, basically, uh, within reason, I'm sure. So. Um, interestingly enough, despite it fitting all standard microphone stands, it does not fit all of the stands that I have available. Observe. This is a standard, I want to say it's a Proline uh, branded microphone stand. It's just a regular straight stand, no boom attached or anything like that. Uh, tripod style, which I really get all of my microphone stands, save for the Heil HB1 tripod style. And uh, this has absolutely no trouble attaching. So if I click this into place, it stays put. It actually is pretty solid. In fact, let's check it out. Uh, I have one of my favorite beverages here. Not my favorite beer, but one of them. Harp Lager, gotta love it. And uh, let's put some other stuff on there. Let's see what we've got on this desk here. Um, Got a nice 
capo to work with. Everybody needs a screwdriver now and again, especially flathead. Oh, that's that's so incredibly stylish. And uh, even though I don't need it for the beer, here is a corkscrew. So as you can see, it holds a reasonable amount of stuff. Downside is this is at waist level <laughs> because it's it has to connect to the, the thicker part of the shaft on the microphone stand. It's understandable why it has to do that, um, you know, because obviously it needs to snap into place. Uh, things tend to be a bit more standardized down there toward the bottom. And so li like it says on the package, it can fit any 7 eighths inch microphone stand. So, you know, that works out. Um, moving on, like I said before, it doesn't fit all of the stands that I have. So let's check out another microphone stand. This is a Monoprice branded boom stand, and it unfortunately is incompatible with the O-Tray. Um, as you can see, it's also another tripod style stand, and it looks standard. I mean, it looks basically the same as the Pro line, uh, with the exception of um, yeah, the hand grip there for adjustments, a little bit thicker. However, what is thinner is the actual shaft, so the O-Tray doesn't work. Observe. It will snap on there, or seem to snap on, but then it falls. <sighs> you know, despite it not fitting all of my microphone stands, I quite like the O-Tray. For a mere 13 bucks, I've got a microphone accessory that's easy to install, is very rugged, and seems to hold a reasonable amount of weight. It does exactly what it says on the package. And I can't complain about that. The only thing that I will complain about is that I'm stuck at waist height with the thing. But that's, again, just a limitation of the actual microphone stand I have it installed in anyway. Plus, not everybody on the planet is 6'1", so I can't even complain about that too much. It's really not that much of an inconvenience for me to reach down a tiny bit further to grab my drink or whatever I happen to have on the tray. I highly recommend the O-Tray. Uh, check out the purchase link below, and in the meantime, I'm going to let myself finish up the video while I enjoy this tasty, tasty beverage. Well, that does it for this week's Cheap Gear Review, Things That Hold Other Things Extravaganza Part 1. If you want to check out any of the items featured on this episode, click the applicable link below in the description. Until next time, I'm Tim Lyons, reminding you that just because it's cheap doesn't always mean it sucks. Thanks for watching.